In this video tutorial, I'll be showing you how to use the heat distortion effect in the HitFilm Express Video Editor. You can apply the effect by going to the Effects tab. You then go to the Distort folder. You then choose the heat distortion effect. Go ahead, left click, hold and drag that to your video clip. You'll notice right away that the video clip becomes a lot blurrier. I personally um, see that as some, uh, somewhat in between a fingerprint and uh, a water droplet, the distortion that is. And I personally won't have gone for something like that when it comes to heat distortions, but perhaps it'll work for your scene. So I'm gonna go ahead and play back the video so you can have an idea of what the heat distortion effect actually does. So uh, you'll right away notice that the heat distortion uh, effect uh, makes the video a lot laggier and I think they got that part um, you know uh, more right than the distortion where uh, you'll notice that in um, you know situations of high heat and temperature your perception may start slowing down and lagging and so they were trying to re uh, remake that kind of effect as um, in the video clip and I think that makes sense but the smudges weren't so, I, I, won't, uh, I won't have chosen these kind of smudges. Now I'm going to go ahead and just uh, show you the options and configurations within the heat distortion effect. So let me go ahead and show you one by one what each of these configurations do in the heat distortion effect. The scale decides the, uh, de uh, decides the size of the distortion. If you want it really big, you can just make this a really big number. And you'll notice the smudges are a lot uh, bigger and the distortions is a lot more significant. And the distortion itself you can um, change and the more you make uh, the, the higher number it is the more distorted it looks like if you want it to uh, look like things are melting you'd uh, set the distortion to 200 and it'll look something like this now the diffusion bias if you um, set it to zero it's a, a little bit more blurrier if you set it to uh, 100 the distortions, the smudges, I should say, are uh, disappear, but you'll notice that the flowers do look a little um, bent out of shape. Now you have the diffusion strength. If you set it to zero, you'll notice that the diffusion just um, disappears. You'll still notice that the flowers look, uh, you know, uh, wilted and weird. And you can uh, set the distortion strength to 2000 if you want to increase the strength of the distortion. You also have wind direction, which decides the direction of the distortion. Not very noticeable, but you know. You also have wind speed and wind noise. And honestly, I think those I already covered the most important ones. And these are just very small, nuanced um, differences, which may not produce a significant effect. The last thing you uh, that may be, uh, you know, um, no, um, important to mention is interpolation. Basically, uh, the, what you have right near, uh, right here, uh, decides the the way the smudge looks. At cubic, it looks all right. At linear, it looks a little bit more different. One thing I'll say is that the um, cubic makes it a look a, lo uh, a lot more round, the distortion, and linear is a lot more flat. And then finally, blocks. Uh, if you want to make it like pixel, if you want to make the distortions pixelated. And so that's uh, how the heat distortion effect works. Thank you for listening. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask me in the comments below. I'd appreciate it if you like and share this video and subscribe to my channel. Bye.